Between Sicily and Tunisia is the volcanic island of Pantelleria, also known as the Black Pearl of the Mediterranean on account of its rugged beauty. There are no beaches or mass tourism here and no small amount of capers. They grow in the fields and also wild on stone walls and in rocky crevices. The caper is an important ingredient in the kitchens of Pantelleria. Their unique flavor gives a piquant note to salads, sauces, and spreads. Other island specialities are caper leaves in oil and mustazzoli biscuits. From June to September, caper farmer Luciano Modica is on his fields for many hours a day. The caper of Pantelleria are so precious because the raccolta is made exclusively with the hands. Luciano's wife, Anna Maria, is also no slouch. She helps out with the harvest, prepares holiday homes for the summer season, and looks after the family. È bellissimo il nostro stato tempo perché passi da una vita sedentaria a una vita molto frenetica, quello che non vorrei avere io, però purtroppo è questo. Se tu vuoi lavorare, l'estate devi correre. It's five in the morning, and Anna Maria and Luciano are heading out to the caper fields. They're also taking their nine-year-old daughter, Sofia. She's too young to stay at home alone. It's early June. The hottest months are about to begin. It's traditional to pick capers early in the morning before their flowers open and attract the bees. Luciano's caper field is in the sheltered locality of Valle di Monastero in the interior of the island. From early summer till the autumn, he and Anna Maria harvest every morning and evening. Luciano has helped with the caper harvest since childhood. After the death of his parents, he took over their caper production entirely. Capers are the unopened flower buds of the Mediterranean caper bush. If they are not harvested quickly enough, they turn into delicate lilac flowers that give fruit after a few days, so-called caper berries. These are not quite so fragrant. Capers are extremely robust plants. They can also thrive where the soil is infertile and barren. It's only the seedlings that require Luciano's protection from the sun and wind. I collect capers, even beyond the tradition, but I'm proud of them because I'm a pantesco and so I like to revalue our culture, because it's important our culture, pantesca, the caper of Pantelleria, like the lua, like the zibibo, like the things that produce our terra, where our nostri aves have lived of this. Anna Maria keeps a good eye on Sofia, who's enjoying her summer holidays. Anna Maria has lived on Pantelleria for 10 years. She's originally from the Sicilian port of Trapani. Per me quando andavo in campagna con i miei genitori era solo un divertimento, cioè nel senso se andava lì per le feste si facevano le solite grigliate, adesso andare in campagna è diverso. Il Pantesco dice è molto faticoso, è vero, lo è, perché comunque quando spunta il sole e ci sono 40 gradi è molto faticoso. Però io che vengo dallo stress, a me raccogliere i capperi mi rilassa. Andiamo! Sofia and her parents have an agreement. If she gets bored, then it's time to go home. Abbiamo finito.
The Modica family house is not far from the sea, solitary in its natural surroundings, 10 minutes drive from the nearest town. Ana Maria needs capers for the midday meal. And so Luciano has picked up a quantity of salted capers from his storehouse. Quelli piccoli si mettono da una parte e quelli grandi e cetroli da una parte. I cetroli e quelli grandi possono servire sia per fare la polvere di cappero sia per fare il patè. The oval caper berries are not as spicy as actual capers and therefore sell for less. The family exchanges some of the harvest for other products from the island. Another portion they keep for themselves and the rest is sold. Ana Maria is making an insalata pantesca. First, she washes the salt off the capers. Sotto sale perché si conservano meglio dell'aceto e invece con l'aceto prendono quel sapore agrodolce e invece così li puoi condire come vuoi tu. For the salad, Anna Maria cuts boiled potatoes and mixes them with capers, raw onions, olives and the first of this summer's pantesco tomatoes. There's also roasted dry fish. All types of red sea bream are well suited for this dish. E quindi ha tutto, piatto unico. Piace a Sofia, ci piace a Luciano ed è molto pratico. Facciamo questo al posto della pasta. Che così ci riempiamo lo stesso. The fish is covered with olive oil and mixed into the salad. Finally, everything is sprinkled with a little more olive oil. Capers are not only tasty, but also low in calories, as well as rich in antioxidants and vitamins. Finalmente! <laughs> Sofia, mangia anche i pomodori, tutto. To go with the food, an island speciality. Homemade Zibibo dessert wine. The family feels fortunate to have their own terrace on which to enjoy meals together. These days, it's difficult to live from caper farming alone, and many farmers have sold their houses to tourists. We have tried to find another solution, that of it during the summer and going to another house during the summer period. Yes, there are sacrifices, but at least we have a little bit of money, we have to buy this summer and we are going to go. Perché comunque non vogliamo vendere tutto questo paradiso. The traditional stone houses of Pantelleria are called Damusi. They date back to the Arabs who populated the island for five centuries. Their thick stone walls protect against the heat and wind. The wind on Pantelleria is so strong that all trees and crops must be kept at a low height. Despite the difficult conditions, Luciano's friend Gigi is a keen wine grower. After months of manual work, he successfully turned a wild hillside into a vineyard. If you don't do this work here, you say, to break all the trees, the trees, to system the things, you don't manage to collect even a grape of wine, because the wind destroys everything. So it's a fight with nature, a fight. But anyway, if you take it, È una bella storia perché il vino, il vino di Pantelleria è particolare. Che casino. Che casino vero. Luciano needs some red wine for this evening's festivities. In exchange, he's brought the capers that he sorted with Sofia today. Capri che stanno, sono capri frischi. Sono da me. Facciamo un goccetto, va. Dai, facciamo un goccetto. Facciamo un goccetto. E così ci riposiamo 5 minuti, va. Andiamo. Luciano also brought some caper paste with olives. Salute. 
He's a frequent visitor to the vineyard. Back at home, a baking course is underway. Luciano's cousin Giovanna is showing Sofia how to make mustazzoli biscuits, a pantelleria speciality with unusual ingredients, including crushed mint sweets. For the dough, Giovanna first dissolves honey in warm water, then adds semolina. Piano, piano, un altro pochino, vai un altro pochino. The honey, water and semolina should bind without burning. E per quando dobbiamo tenerla per farla bollire? La facciamo cucinare fino a che non si stacca dal legno. Sofia adds a mixture of roasted and ground almonds as well as sesame. Then the sweets that give the dough an oriental minty character. E da solo tanti anni sono passati, prima sempre con l'occhio che mi controllavano. Un dieci anni fa ho iniziato io da sola. Giovanna lays the finished dough on a board greased with pork lard. Sofia, mi dà il piatto con gli altri ingredienti? As the dough cools, more almonds as well as aniseed, lemons and tangerine peel are added. Now the real work begins. The honey dough is rolled into long rolls and encased in a flour and dripping pastry that Giovanna prepared yesterday and rolled out thinly. <laughs> Using razor blades, they carve small shapes into the mustazzoli. And then carefully open them up. For the decorating, it's good to have lots of helping hands. Secondo me è una follia farli, perché vedi come si lavorano. Li faccio per Sofia perché è un, un dolce tipico pantesco e quindi, eh, anche se non sono pantesca, voglio che Sofia impari il, il classico il dolce pantesco perché Luciano ci tiene molto alla tradizione. Prenderne uno? No. No, lo prendero, mettiamolo da qui stesso. Così no. Sempre... No. 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 There are few leisure activities on Pantelleria. And so the playthings for Sofia and her friend Dalila are everything they find outdoors. For example, caper flowers. Guarda così, sto bene. Andiamo negli altri. Quelli più freschi. Che buon odore. Vieni, Tista. Che bello quello. Mi piace Pantelleria perché alla fine è un luogo molto aperto in cui si può giocare di più sulla natura, però la cosa che non mi piace di Pantelleria è che è troppo piccola. Dinner this evening is couscous pantesco. For this, Anna Maria boils mixed fish in a broth of tomato puree, onions, garlic, parsley and salt. Hai preparato i vestiti a tua figlia? Sì, si vuole mettere il vestito nuovo ah, stasera. Ah, ok. Vuole essere bella. Eh. Come la sua mamma. Ah. <laughs> Sbrighiamoci, dai. Luciano has soaked the couscous semolina in water for a few hours. Now he adds onions, a seasoning blend of turmeric, coriander, cumin, cinnamon and chili 
as well as parsley and bay leaves. The fish will be mixed into the couscous later on. But first, Luciano places the semolina in a perforated pot on top of the fish broth. This gives it a more intense aroma. In the kitchen, Anna Maria and Luciano work at different speeds. Il couscous, siccome è un piatto molto compresso, preferiamo farlo insieme. Quindi io mi dedico al pesce, lui alle verdure. Però quando cuciniamo preferiamo, se lui fa il primo io faccio il secondo, se lui fa il secondo io faccio il primo. A me piace fare le cose fatte bene, le cose fatte bene ci vuole il tempo giusto per farle, non le puoi fare di fretta. Di fretta puoi pulire un mobile, puoi pulire per terra, ma la cucina è un'arte. Luciano has a recipe all of his own. He mixes the ingredients from Arabic couscous with the Pantesco ingredients. With Pantesco couscous, the vegetables are not braised, but fried. In the Modica household, they decorate the salad with lightly tart caper leaves preserved in oil. The first guests have arrived. As there are only around 7,500 inhabitants on Pantelleria and little opportunity for diversion, the Panteschi, as the locals call themselves, throw their parties at home. <laughs> Wine grower Gigi and his wife Karin are also here. Anna! Arrivo! Ecco qua! Piatta la nonna. La nonna. No, magari mi fa la terra la terra è troppo bassa. When serving, Luciano ladles hot fish broth over the couscous. Then the banquet can begin. Luciano and Anna Maria frequently host for their friends. In summer, however, the festivities can't last long. They have to be back in the field at 5 a.m. Every morning, Luciano puts his freshly picked capers in salt. For one month, they are repeatedly stirred and mixed. This encourages the formation of capric acid and mustard oils, which give the capers their piquant flavor. Il capro non ha sapore, deve maturare sotto sale per poter essere mangiato. Quindi che cosa fa? Il capro trasuda e viene, esce fuori questa salamoia. In modo tale che lo fa cuocere il capro, in modo tale che si, si può, diventi commestibile. Luciano sells a portion of his capers in Scauri. This sleepy village is on the island's southern coast. In the summer, celebrities such as Madonna, Sting, Carole Bouquet and Giorgio Armani mingle with the few residents. On Pantelleria, paparazzi are rare. The Panteschi do their own thing and leave the celebrities in peace. On the outskirts of Scauri is Pantelleria's oldest caper company. Luciano's father also came here to sell his capers. Luciano sells the capers unsorted. There are also some leaves and twigs in the buckets, and so some weight is always deducted. Okay. Mm. 
netto 65. Va bene. In a good month, Luciano harvests 200 kilograms of capers, for which he receives 1,600 euros. The capers are sorted mechanically. First, they are carried up a conveyor and into a drum. There, they are separated from the salt and fall into individual containers through the differently sized holes. Volevo sapere i tipi di calibro. Sì, Mi sembra... il è il più piccolo, Elite. Elite, occhio di vernice, e la primella 4, puntina 6, cappellone, ne abbiamo molto differenti. The sizes range from 4 to 15 mm. The smallest capers are rare and thus also the most expensive. Come sono sti capri? Come ti vanno? Sono buoni i capperi, sono buoni, Luciano. The capers are now ready for export. Mamma, mamma, ho trovato la ricetta. Ok, brava. La farina c'è. Sì. Le tre uova ci sì. sono. Anna Maria and Sofia are making flour waffles, baci panteschi, a sweet dessert for an evening meal at Gigi's. For this, they prepare a beer batter using eggs, sugar and flour. Metti ancora un po'. Prendi la birra, per favore. Dai, persala. Perché a Sofia piacciono e cerco di fare qualcosa insieme a lei, visto che lavoro quasi tutti i giorni. Quando sono a casa preferisco fare qualcosa insieme a Sofia. Ti va di farlo un po'? E io grattugio il limone? Ok. Limone. Non ce ne sono più di limoni? No, solo questo. Mettiamo questo. For the deep frying, Anna Maria uses a so-called rosette iron. Prima la fai riscaldare, poi la metti qua, non esci fuori dal bordo e ecco qua. Mm -hmm. The flour waffles have to cool down before Anna Maria and Sofia can start with the filling. For the filling, they're using ricotta. On Pantelleria, this is produced with salty seawater. To balance things out, Anna Maria has also added some sugar. Dai, Sofia, riempiamo, che ci servono per stasera. Me lo fa assaggiare. Mmm, che buono. Come sono venuti? Vado? Sì. Mettici lo zucchero. Dai, Sofia, è l'ultimo. Ok. Today, the women are making the dessert, the men the main course. Gigi and Luciano prepare a tomato and basil pesto with garlic and olive oil. The pesto goes well with many types of pasta. There will also be some of Luciano's caper powder. For a few days, he has dried salted capers and caper berries in the sun and these are now being ground in an old coffee grinder. The powder is a good accompaniment for pasta or potatoes. Diciamo, un gusto sostanzioso, forte, intenso e nello stesso tempo che degusta il palato. Buon appetito! Buon appetito a tutti! Buon appetito! Ma che bello! The caper powder oh. is sprinkled over the pesto or is even added to the pasta directly. <laughs> it's getting cooler. For the modicas, this means a quick change of clothes and back 
to the caper fields. Che la nostra economia familiare ci aumenti e si sviluppi sui nostri prodotti dell'isola e che ci faccia vivere in quest'isola tranquilla. Cioè, almeno è il mio desiderio, poi le cose della vita non si sanno mai come vanno a finire, quindi... Thank you.